Hey Sagittarius, how you doing? Gonna be doing your reading here for December 27th to the 3rd of January. So kind of into the new year here, but um, let's see what's going on with you guys for that week. Keep in mind these are general reads, so they may not resonate with everyone out there. And um, if you are interested in a personal reading, you can connect with me on my Instagram. That information is in the description box below. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys for the week of the 27th to the 3rd of January. So the first card that comes out, we do have Justice, okay? I feel like, um, you know, something here is going to be settled out. Some sort of situation in the past, something that has happened to you in the past. Maybe you've been treated unfair. Um, you know, maybe you were backstabbed. Whatever the case is, I feel like something's being balanced out for you um you know the challenge though coming up for the week um you do have the eight of swords so kind of feeling um <clears throat> kind of tied down just wrapped up in your mind uh, maybe just feeling like you can't move forward in a situation um you know something like that here but i feel like um i feel like that's gonna change off the bat here it is a challenge it is something to where you feel like you can't move forward okay let's see your um your focus what's your focus right now Wow, so we do have the devil that comes out. So you're focusing on, you're obsessing over a situation here. We're gonna have to get some clarifiers. It could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, or you're just kind of working through some sort of addictions here, okay? Um, let's see your recent past. And that could be, you know, the devil, if, if it is about addictions, it could be, you know, eating situation here drinking too much smoking too much you know something like that um we do have the king of wands in your recent past so uh definitely your energy someone you know you've been kind of focusing on creating something here for yourself uh, let's see possibilities we do have the wheel of fortune that comes out here so there's a possibility of a new beginning here but i feel like Maybe it's a week of you just kind of working on your own stuff right now. So maybe there's some shadow work you need to do. You need to be able to close out a situation here. Uh, maybe you're just working on, like I said, maybe you're looking at um, workout plans, exercising, eating healthier. It could be that, you know, you've, you've indulged in, you know, other things that weren't so healthy for you. Let me silence this here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, um, so maybe you're focusing on things that um, were not healthy for you, okay? And this could be, you know, working too much. It could be, you know, obsessing over a certain thing. It could be on the phone too much. It could be on the computer too much. Um, it could be watching TV too much, you know, whatever the case is. So it doesn't necessarily have to be alcohol and smoking and things like that, okay? But definitely working through some sort of addictions here, working through closing out those situations so you can start a new cycle here something brand new for you okay um let's see in your future what's coming up near future what's coming up here we have the ace of swords so there is going to be um it's more like gemini libra aquarius energy but also it's just the fact that you're going to hear the truth of a situation or maybe some truth is going to come out towards you okay so I've been waiting for some something to settle out. Again, justice being there, Libra energy. I've been waiting for something. I feel like you're gonna get some information, okay? So or some information or news is gonna be coming towards you. So kind of be open to that and be aware of that. I feel like it's gonna be very unexpected. It could be coming from a Gemini. This could be re resulting or in discussion about a partnership or something like that too. So for some of you, this might be uh, involving some sort of connection, okay? Let's see in your feels what's going on here. In your feels, you do have the king of pentacles. So you're definitely focusing on stability. You're focusing on your finances. You're focusing on building things. Um, so you're definitely focused on, um, you know, just you right now. Kind of just focused on your financial stability, okay? Um, if not, you, you could be... Um, you know, thinking about another earth sign or thinking about an earth sign in general, for some of you, it doesn't have to be. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you could just have earth energy in, or earth in your chart too, as your moon arising as well. 
uh, but definitely a feeling of just kind of being focused on your own financial stability, okay? Um, so you could be, you know, again, looking for a new job, wanting a new job, um, you know, just looking into investing, whatever the case is, some more money, okay? Let's see your, your environment, what's going on. The King of Cups, okay? So this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So in your environment here, you're definitely kind of, um, you could be dealing with the water sign as well. We'll have to clarify that, but you could be just kind of getting into your own, um, you know, kind of getting in touch with your own, own emotions here. Let's see. In your hopes and fears, kind of just maybe even finding the truth of a situation to yourself too, just kind of realizing, you know, things that are not working out for you. Um, you know, something like that, just an energy of just kind of being open to realizing your mistakes, yourself, you know, just kind of just um, being truthful to yourself in a situation too, okay? Let's see in your hopes and fears. We do have two of cups here, so you are hoping for some sort of connection, okay? Some new partnership here. Again, it could be with the water sign, doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, let's see your possible outcome. Queen of Wands, wow. So we do have a Aries Leo Sagittarius here as your outcome. I feel like this is you though. I feel like you're gonna be kind of in your own power here. For some of you guys, um, I feel like there's independence. I feel like you're focusing on yourself, um, kind of getting into your own element. For others of you, you could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? So I do see some sort of connection or maybe something new starting from that, okay? I do feel like, though, with the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I feel like it's going to be like some sort of new journey, something to where you kind of go on your own path onto something different, okay? That's kind of what I see here. Let's clarify the Devil. Yeah, so we have... Um, yeah, there's a lot of it could be overthinking sleepless nights uh you know just kind of uh, in your head maybe overthinking a lot of things maybe even just kind of you know when you're when you're trying to get to bed whatever the case is maybe you're just overthinking a lot of things doubting yourself you know what i mean you're just thinking like negative uh negative thoughts here um it could be also again like i said this could be like a truth that you kind of realize yourself here which is kind of just making you even more into that that energy of um, you know realizing your own mistakes, realizing things here too. Okay, so sometimes, sometimes that does happen. You know where you kind of get into this this uh, energy where you kind of reflect back and you just go, yeah, you know what, I do need to work on this myself. I do need to do this, and and you know what I mean. So it's going to be like one of those feelings here where you, you're going to realize your own weaknesses and you're going to start working on them. Okay, so yeah, you're going to become. And that queen of swords swords energy here where you're just going to kind of take charge and make changes here um that you can that you need to make okay um so for others of you too you, you might be dealing with a uh someone from your past or maybe a soulmate connection here that's coming towards you um so i do see that coming here again with the two of cups being down there uh for others it could be a uh, earth sign taurus virgo capricorn that you'll be connecting with. So there is some new connections coming here, but I feel like um, for for some of you guys, there's gonna be some sort of like, um, kind of an eye-opening moment, maybe some truth comes towards you or you're gonna have some truth that you realize, you know, something like that. That's kind of what I see going on here. Whatever the case is, I do feel like there's gonna be a new cycle here, something that you're gonna be working towards um, a new beginning, okay? So the will is turning in your favor. Um, so again, I feel like that you're going to be working on yourself a little bit, but also potential for new connections to come come towards you. Also people from the past. So, you know, with the Six of Cups energy here, you might have uh, a connection from the past that is coming back towards you, wanting some sort of connection to a Cups energy as well. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is what I see here. Uh, possibly wanting some sort of new um new start new stability wanting something a little bit committed but definitely coming towards you here with uh communication okay so um you know they definitely made some sort of decision to move towards you okay um and again coming with truth there's some sort of news coming towards you here okay so kind of have an eye open for that in the coming week here sagittarius but 
Um, so it's a little bit of a mix. I feel like you're kind of working on yourself, fixing things or just analyzing the situation. Maybe again, some of you guys may be working too much or whatever, okay? you know, having a work-life balance, you know, things like that. You're just gonna have some sort of truth that you are gonna realize. Uh, but at the same time, I do feel like there's some sort of news coming towards you that's going to change a lot of things here. Um, I also feel like someone from the past or a new connection, you know, here in this, you know, could be early into the January time frame, but there's a new connection here that's going to start. Could be meeting someone new or again, someone from the past coming towards you. But either way, definitely a brand new beginning here for you, something new. Okay, so that is what I see for you guys, Sagittarius. Let me get you guys an oracle. And um, it should be good. But yeah, for those of you guys working through, you know, any sort of addictions, whatever the case is, or maybe just kind of working on yourself in general, I do feel like that's a, that's a big focus for next week. Um, and, and you're really going to focus on making those changes. I feel like it's uh, something that you're just going to have to realize. You're going to realize. There's going to be something that's just kind of like, shit, you know? And, uh, and things change after that. Everything kind of moves forward pretty quick. Uh, but in your fields here, you're definitely looking at stability and money as well. I feel like that's all gonna work out, again, with this news coming in or you having some sort of truth coming out here with justice being the base of your reading, things are gonna balance out for you, okay? That's what I do see here. Um, your card here is um, the fruit bat flying fox. So it means kindness, okay? So number 12, let's see what that's all about here. So it means kindness. All right, there we go. Choose kindness, which, is, which isn't always the easy way. Kindness will always be repaid. Consider others in your decisions, especially those with less power than you. Repay your debts, spread the seeds of goodwill and fortunes and your fortunes will grow. Okay, so that is your card, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hit the like, subscribe if you have not already. And um, until next time, we'll see you. Have a good one.